I dived into a book about western region diesel hydraulics, seeking nuggets of information and story inspiration for Bear, and not only did I come out of it with that, but also an alternate basis for him. Instead of a BR Class 35 high mech, my ideal Bear is a Class 22 baby warship. The idea is, he kinda starts out talking a big game about diesel technology to Henry and Gordon whenever they visit Vickerstown, claiming, with conviction rather than malice, that everything steam engines do, diesels can do. For example, he's got a water tank for steam heating coaches, and Henry asks if his face can swivel on hinges, which makes a nice setup for an eventual adaptation of Out of Puff, and Bear does it. The baby warships, among other diesel haulers, had connecting doors for communication between drivers when double-heading. If you've ever wondered what this business was on Boko, the Crossleys also had these. And so did the Class 40s for that matter. Some of them didn't though, and on that basis I decided to cheat a little bit and suggest that when Boko was rebuilt with his power bogey switched around, his communication doors were removed as well. Accounts say this feature was seldom used anyway. So I let Boko retain the warning panel style face and have Bear be the one to demonstrate this feature to the audience. After all, he doesn't get much. I'd seen this model of a Hi-Mech in Civil Engineer's Dutch Grey livery and liked it, but it came about a little late for Bear's introduction. In the mid-60s, some Western Region diesel hydraulics were given experimental liveries, so fuck it, that's the excuse I'm making for having Bear be Grey. I'm gonna use this Stanley face as a placeholder. It's not quite the right shape, but it's the best I can do. You know that Horrid Lorry adaptation, Horrid 40 by 25 and Soku? I'm thinking Bear's introduction episode would go kinda like that, only instead of three Whistlers, he'd be one of three baby warships, and instead of following Percy and then Toby, it's Henry's story. This would be my adaptation of Super Rescue. Henry's regulator's busted, and since all of Sodor's engines are non-standard, repairs are gonna take a while. Bear says Sodor needs mass-produced engines like him and his brothers, who are being trialed on Sodor as they speak. And as Henry makes his way home, he comes across a blue 22 and a green 22, one of which ends up crashing into the back of the shed, and the other fails on a crossing. And yeah, Bear's ejector fails, but he can still assist Henry in dragging all three diesels and their trains all the way back to Vickerstown. And while my ideal spam cannon stuck up just moan for fitters, Bear is enamored by the way Henry coped with his hindrance, and Topham notices his attitude and work ethic is much better than the other two 22s he'd just trialed, so he decides to keep him on. If you liked hearing my point of view and seeing my edits, leave a comment saying which character you'd like me to cover next.